So in this section, we want to take a look at a bit of the soft keys and a way to accelerate the process of changing all of them simultaneously, whether you're mixing, you're editing, you're navigating, you're controlling your control room section from Matrix. We can do this really efficiently. So we've been moving around using memory locations uh, throughout all these modules. And if I want to go to the bridge, I can simply jump and press and start playing at the bridge. Very simple. Let's go back to the first chorus. Uh, and this is a very simple way to jump to a marker within your Pro Tools session. However, it's quite limited. I only have a, a very small amount of real estate to, to display my markers or my memory locations. So the quick jumps allow me to have a larger view into all of these different types of functions. If I hold down the shift key on any of my fader modules and press one of the numeric switches on the numpad, for example, uh, if I go and press period, it's going to give me control room monitoring functions. You, you can see sources and speakers and fold downs and all kinds of powerful control over my Pro Tools matrix. If we press the memory, lo memory location switch while holding down shift, it's going to expand all of my soft key quadrants to be able to display not only parts of the song, I can jump around between verse and pre-chorus, but I can also set up different views and different show hides and different types of uh, navigational tech uh, uh, functions within my memory location. So for example, if I want to see all of my tracks uh, you know, quickly zoomed out and the entire timeline of the song, for example, for doing a bounce, I can do that really quickly. If I want to jump in and, um, and you know, magnify the tracks, look at a certain subset of tracks, for example, maybe just the guitars, I can do show hides as a function of my markers as well. And it's all kind of nested within this view. So very, very quickly able to go between different parts of the song, different view changes, as well as different track sizes and, um, and selections as well as a function of the quick jump for the memory locations. Let's go back for a second to the monitoring. And uh, to do that again, shift period. And that's going to bring up our control room functions on the bottom. And you can see all my source inputs here. If we want to monitor maybe the laptop source coming in, which is Dante, with HD Native, which is coming in via DigiLink, I can listen to that. I've got various Dante sources. Maybe I just want to hear what my talent is hearing on Q1. I actually have the ability to monitor that Q input, which is being folded back into the control room, which is really, really powerful, uh, right here as a function of my source inputs. On the right side, I've got all my various speaker controls, mains, alts, alt 2, and I can tweak, um, listen to what, how am I listening to those particular sources. So let's jump back out just by pressing shift 0 to the main page. That takes me back home to kind of uh, my familiar automation 1 and X. Now, if I'm mixing and I'm in the heat of actually doing mixing and automation and snapshots, I can do Shift 1 or Shift 2 or Shift 3. And we've basically navigated, kind of oriented those different automation pages in a way such that you should be able to press one and literally get everything you need from automation snapshots, preview, punch, capture, and all the different global automation modes without ever having to page. It's a very, very fast way to work. Now, in addition to that, we have preferences for different behaviors on the console. Uh, we even have uh, a page, if we do shift backslash, to access your first track layouts and meter layouts that we're going to look at in a future module. So the quick jump soft keys allow you a really efficient way to get to different workflows directly from the soft keys.